good afternoon mr john crow and welcome to beautiful grenada's section of our discussion called grenadians abroad it's nice to meet you pleasure the pleasure the pleasure is mine uh, I see you're holding two mangoes. I know, I see, I walk in here and I see, I get two mangoes. I don't know if it's mine to eat or not, <laughs> or if it's just for a prop, I don't know, but anyway. No, actually, you can have them if you like. For real? One for you and one for your wife. No wife in here? No, but you can take it home. Yeah, but she and I don't know how I get mangoes. <laughs> you want to take one home, I'll tell her. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that, that's, that's that. That's yes. That, that. So, Long mango or that too, you know? Yeah. So, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. So one of the first questions I want to ask you is how long have you been in the United States? Um, the last time I did the calculation, I think about 40 years. You've been away from home for 40 years? Yeah. Do you get opportunities to go home often? I was home last December, mm -hmm. um, December of 2019. And um, do you go home every year? Or? Um, not, not every year, but you know, um, I would say that regularly enough. Yeah. You know, and um, um, yeah, regular, you know, as, as regular as time and schedule. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going home now a lot more regular than I did in the first, I would say, the first 20 years. Yes. The first 20 years was a long. So, what period. were you doing for the first 20 years that made it? Oh, work and school and responsibilities and um, <laughs> I'm afraid the immigration, so I didn't have a green card. <laughs> so you were living in America without a green card I for a long in America, time. But not a very long time, but uh, long enough. Yeah. Um, um, I'm scared, but no, that's not true. That's not true. I'm just putting that in. <laughs> so I always had, um, I always had uh, travel mm -hmm. access efficiency from a very early time. Yeah. So do you feel that you've taken Grenada with you to the United States? Oh God, yes. I, I, <laughs> but my accent alone is a, is a giveaway. And this is a true story, right? I was on the road with a touring company one time, because I also do theater. And we were in Virginia, um, Richmond, Virginia. And uh, Spyro Gyra, famous musician, the band was um, loading out from that theater we were performing as we were loading in. And so then we had a whole lot of you know, traveling props and what have you. So we were to put the stuff in the theater and then go to the hotel and then come back in for rehearsals and what have you. And the, the, the people who were outloading Spyro Gyro was taking their sweet time. And I'm like, yo, yo, we need the space now. You guys getting out, so then get your shit off the, you know, and then let's go. And um, so one of my, uh, I think it was the, she was production manager or sound engineer, I forget what, what position she had. And she came up to me and said, oh, John Crow, John Crow, man. come on, you have to tone it down a little bit, man. Because your accent, your accent, you, you, you. I said, accent? What are you talking about accent? You know, I said, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the, the stage manager, and I need my stuff in. They need to get, get the hell out. And so she got this attitude with me because I guess my accent offended her. Fast forward several years later, we were someplace else, and somebody got her angry. And the, Trinidad, the Trinidadian just fly out of your mouth. Like I tell you, oh God, I'll look at this, blah, 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 blah. I said, oh shit, you from Trinidad? And you telling me about the accent? Girl, wait, <laughs> girl, move. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, a, it's one of those kind of moments when you say like to yourself, hmm. But no, I um, my, my Grenadian-ness has, has never left me. Um, um, I'm a proud Grenadian, born and raised. And um, everywhere I go, I mean, I've kind of tell you the number of places where I've been, and I'm the only Grenadian, and, um, especially in the theater, uh, you know, or dance companies that I've worked with. Um, the, you know, not just only black person, but only one with my kind of vibes, <laughs> with my kind of Grenadian vibes. <laughs> and I'm never afraid, ne I'm never afraid to, to exhibit that. I mm -hmm. never, I'm never hesitant to let people know. I'm from Grenada. It's like, like, like the mighty sparrow. I mean, you know, like, yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Grenadian. Mm -hmm. that, and where cool. in Grenada are you originally from? Um, I was born in a little village called Noel's Hill, St. James, mm -hmm. in St. Andrews. Um, I went to school in Sass, in Grenville. Um, then I did a stint over at the teacher's college just before, um, before I started teaching. I, I, I was a teacher at Bridge School for a little while. Um, um, before I traveled. 
you know. Then coming to New York, I um, did a stint at the New School for Social Research. Um, then I also went to your college and graduated from your college um, several several years ago, several years ago in accounting. <laughs> and, um, but uh, it, it's, it's been a nice journey. I've done from a taxi driver to a truck driver to whatever it is that you want done, cleaning people's apartments to whatever it is that you, you know, willing to pay me for, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and do you think that you have represented Grenada well in America? I would say so. Um, others might differ, but I, I, I think I've done so. Um, in recent times, I've gotten myself involved with a few projects. I'm very, very proud. Uh, I don't know if you remember when um, there was a huge fire in Guelph, um, and I think several families yes. you know, lost their homes and so forth. And I was involved with organizing um, to ship uh, nine, seven, nine, nine barrels. Um, Teach, who recently passed um, from, from Guelph, he, along with his wife and several of us, we got together and we formed this committee that we were able to pull, you know, resources and we were able to ship nine barrels to the families and individual, you know, families. Um, I'm very, very proud of that project. Um, as a result of that project, I've been able to, I would say, make friends with, I even discovered a family member as a result of that project. Yeah, a really? cousin of mine who, I mean, I knew of her because her, her father is my, you know, immediate cousin, close, close cousin. And um, his name was Desmond, he died now. And she was one of the members of the group. I did not know before, you know, who she was. And somehow or the other, in conversation, we discovered that well, we family, you know, which was really interesting for, for me because um, uh, I know that he's had several children in that area, go outside, but I never met any of them, you know, and so that was, that was a, a major plus right there. Mm -hmm. You know, before then, I mean, and, and I, was get, I, I would get criticized or I mean, if it's condemnation or, well, you're not from Guav, what are you doing with Guav people doing Guav thing? And uh, they said Guav and Guav, and I said, no, I'm a Grenadian. You know, yes, I'm from Grenville. Yes, I went to school in Grenville. Yes, I'm from St. James. Yes, I, I went to school and I grew up in St. James, but um, um, Grenville, I mean, Grenada is, is home. And it don't matter who, who in Grenada, something wrong in the call. Though I said, I was saying, you're a Grenadian at heart. At heart, yes, there you go. That, mm -hmm. Very, oh, oh, that's a signal. Mm -hmm. okay. Grenada at heart. <laughs> you, you do sign language? A little bit. Oh, okay, so... So, can I ask you something? Um, there's an argument going around about Grenadians who are living in abroad and who are not contributing to Grenada at all. And when I met you a couple of years ago, you kind of defy that myth because you were in the process of sending supplies to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Um, can you talk a little bit about that to us, please? Let, let, let me, okay, I'm taking two, two sections, right? Mm -hmm. um, the Grenadians who are not contributing to Grenada, I think that's a, a, I think that's a, 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 a a myth. I think it's a myth more mm -hmm. than 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 um, than reality. There, are, okay, there might be Grenadians who don't want to have anything to do with Grenada and don't want to hear the name Grenada mentioned. Um, I'm not going to try to dispute that because I don't know if you're Grenadian. Um, I don't know where the heart is, you know, and I won't try to pretend like I do. Um, but I, for the most part, my experience is that once you ask a Grenadian for help, um, there's a lady who give me, in terms of that project you're speaking of, right? There's a lady who gave me a hundred dollars and it was at a bingo and I'm still trying to figure out, trying to remember her name. I did write the name down and I, it's one of, one, of my, one of my reporter's notebook and I can't find the notebook where it was written and she donated a hundred dollars just out of me expressing to the audience at the time that I'm putting together this 40 foot container, which by the way, we went home in as I mean appropriate timing, the timing could not have been more perfect vis-a-vis um, -vis the COVID uh, virus um, um, plan, plan, pandemic. I mean pandemic, plan, pan, pan, pandemic. Pa pandemic. Pandemic. Okay, pla I say pandemic a lot. It's pandemic. That, you know, okay. It's more like a pandemic. Anyway, <laughs> that's another part of the argument. Another argument. Um, but anyway, the, so 
as, as a result of getting this 40 foot container home, the there's a, I think they call it the donation table, uh, Dr. McIntosh, at the, um, she's the director of, um, oh God, I don't want to get the wrong title, but she's one of the executives at the hospital, responsible for operations and what have you. And so she was able to coordinate the, if you will, arrival and ex, um, distribution and so forth, so that all of the items we send, and we send, it's a 40 foot container, I mean, if you know those trailers you see on, on the highway, um, one of those. And um, we had crutches, we had walkers, we had rollators, we had canes, we had like 38 beds. Um, we had dozens and boxes and more dozens and more boxes of um, diapers, adult day diapers and pull-ups and what have you. We've had, um, I had a, a thing, a flexi, like say, for instance, you get um, rheumatism or something like that, and they put you in this particular unit. Uh, I had one, a couple, of, um, one or two of those. We had um, hoists. I never knew that the, it's called Hoyer lifts or hoist lift or something mm -hmm. like that. Hoist lift. Hoist lift. I never knew what they were for, and I did not realize that it's the same thing that when you're trying to take out the engine of a car, and it's the same kind of mechanics involved in terms of trying to lift a patient out of the bed. And so we had the hoist, we also had the, the, um, the, the bag that you have to put them in and then they pluck them out of the um, thing. <laughs> out of the bed. Out of the bed and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so the items that we uh, collected, and, and I collected these from Grenadians as well as non-Grenadians. I collected these from friends of mine and friends of friends of mine. Some, um, there's a friend of mine, she's from Trinidad. She was the first person... I think she gave me, she, her donation was, I think more about $250 or something like that on, the, on, on, on that trip. And she also got her friends to also donate um, to the effort there. Eh? Then we also had, uh, uh, she was the very first one. No, she's not Grenadian. And she does not have family in Grenadian as, as most Trinidadians do, but she was up front and center, you know? Um, and we are eternally grateful for those mm -hmm. people like that. So to go to that statement of Grenadians not um, contributing to Grenada. Grenadians it, abroad. Yeah, Grenadians abroad, not country. I don't think, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far because we do have those who do um, and willingly do. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I, I would, like right now, um, um, I have a, a, a new, if you will, uh, initiative, where, uh, 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 and which is a continuation of what I started before. Um, this time around, however, it won't be a 40-foot container, it'll be a half. It'll be a 20-foot container, um, but I'm collecting items for that as well, right now. And so I'm asked, no, the last time I didn't have it, the organization where I was able to ask people to send the donations to, um, Family Renaissance, they're still willing to do that, and they are um, on... Maple Street, 813 Maple Street, um, Family Renaissance Incorporated. It's a non-profit organization. So that's the name of your organization? No, no my organization, it's a, it's a working name that I have right now. Yes. I call it For Our Seniors. For Our Seniors, yes. yes. Our, our Healthy Grenada, mm -hmm. you know, co combination of the two. And what I'm trying to do, that, that's the organization, but we don't have the all of the paraphernalia yes, as an needed. official mm -hmm. so that I'm using Family Renaissance or Dr. Uh, Dr. So you're affiliated with Family he Renaissance. Has, he has given me the permission to use mm. his uh, organization as the fiscal conduit yes. for these efforts. Yes. And where is the, what's the address again and the telephone Eight, number? I don't have the telephone number. Okay. Yet, but it's 813 Maple Street. In Brooklyn, New York? In Brooklyn, New York, mm -hmm. 1203. Mm -hmm. 813 Maple Street. 11203 um, is a zip code. It's called Family Renaissance Incorporated. So, and I want to be very careful and saying to people that if you make a contribution there through that means, um, you know, writing a check, you can reclaim that on your taxes. It's tax deductible. It's tax deductible because they, there's a, they have that 501c3 status. My organization that I'm saying that I'm working with is not yet, you know, have all of the paraphernalia to yeah. allow that. Yeah. Um, we also, I also have a, um, a GoFundMe page. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. That um, that you can make your contributions through that as well. And what's the name of it? And um, uh, what did I say it again? Uh, uh, seniors uh, for seniors, Grenadian seniors. Yes, Grenadians. Seniors for Grenadians. Seniors for Grenadians. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. And so people can put in, you know, make the. So far, it's, it's kind of a dragging. I, I set a target of ten thousand um, dollars. I'm not sure if I'm. I didn't. The last time I struck, I went for that number. I might have strike it, but um, it came in so dribs and drabs <laughs> that. Uh, um, but I was able to pay. So would you like Grenadians? Who I would like anybody to contribute. Anybody, and they can go on the GoFundMe page. They could go on the GoFundMe page. Um, they can write a check. Yes. Um, as well, and make that contribution. It's open and it's alive and it's and it's working. Yes. Yes. So Grenadians abroad are doing their thing to contribute. Um, not as much, not on, not as much, and not as quick. As they should. As, as I think they should. Yeah. But nonetheless, because I've seen um, charities, right? Yes. Uh, uh, North America. And I say North America. And in one day, they would collect over $100,000. Yes. In one day. And, and that is with people contributing from all over. Yes. Um, whatever the cause might be. I don't have to call them. Whatever the cause might be. And if Grenadians would do the same thing, I, sh I would not have to be going around begging people to, you know, offer a $10 or $20 or $100, whatever, have you? Because the, the, the thing that I don't, what, what I think that ha happens is this. Prior to me doing what I'm doing now, there are, there have been people over the years who have done similar and have not shown or a, a real accountability of, call it where the funds went. Trust. So that there's a trust factor among some of us. Yes. If you go on my page, on John Crow's Facebook page, you will see pictures of not just the items being cleaned here, but you see the, the items being loaded on the, on the trailer. You see pictures of the items being unloaded in Grenada. You see items of um, the hospital, the, 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 the wing, and the items in use. Yes. So in terms of thinking where the money went, the money... That I collect, okay, I'm, buy, I'm buying bins, right? I'm, I'm guessing up my car to go to Jersey, to go to upstate, to go to uh, Long Island, to go to the Bronx, to go to Connecticut. Picking up these items. Picking up items. As a matter of fact, I get a call last night that I, I, at, at some point, maybe tonight or tomorrow, that I'm heading out to Jersey to make another pickup again. Yeah. You know? So that um, um, you, you, your monies are being put to use. Um, and I don't know what the cost is for this uh, this uh, second shipment yet. Um, whiskey, I'm going with whiskey uh, this time around, um, and uh, because the thing is, I inherited I inherited some um, some items from a previous initiative that somebody else started, and this, they left the stuff in whiskey's warehouse, and it's been there for years. I'm not talking months, we're talking years. So you're trying to so see then if you I'm can going to put them together, put all of that together. And to get it home. Yes, and is it possible that Grenadians can also Grenadians in America can also make a contribution to whiskey for the shipment? Is that possible? Um, also? No, they they they're not set up for that kind of a. Okay. That, that, that set up. So the best so thing to do. So they have to come to your charity. To, right. They, again, they could do through Family Renaissance. Yes. Eight one three Maple uh, Street in Brooklyn. Um, one one two zero three. Um, they can call me nine one seven six seven six. Two six three four. I didn't make that number right. And I will also find the page, um, the Google, Google link, link on your Google page, and I will include it on the on the broadcast. On the broadcast. That, that'll be very nice. Yes. That'll be very nice. Make it easy for people to um to, to click on the link. To click on the link and think. Can I make a drink here? Oh sure. Oh, so. Mr. Alexander. Sorry to go to shit. With a friend. <laughs> and I, I'm telling the camera operator, sorry that I don't step out of frame to get one. So, Mr. Alexander. Um, mm. John Crow. John Crow is good. Yes. So, Mr. Alexander, I remind me that you're working for the IRS. <laughs> I'm trying to, um, you know. Yes. <laughs> so, to I thank you for meeting with us. And it's nice to see. Oh, you finished already? No, would you like to continue? I don't know. Well, I mean, ask me questions and we could, you know. So, eventually, do you think you'll go back to Grenada? Do you consider America home or do you consider Grenada home? Home is where, I'm, where, where I spend the night. Right now, 
um, Grenada is not is on the far distant horizon because of the COVID situation that we're in. Um, I, I cannot, I could never rule out home, Grenada as home, um, whether um, whether I'm there for a day or a month or a year, what have you. Opportunities come in all kind of shapes and forms. And when you look at, there's a serious question that we have to ask ourselves. When you look at Grenada today, Grenada today is not what it was like 40 years ago, right? We've had revolutions, revolutions, and I'm going back as far back as Fedon, and, and, and as far back as the, even as, as far back as when the Indians jumped over Lippers Hill, right? That was a revolution, yes, right? Was. That was the Indian people telling the Spanish people to jump the hell out, you know, you know, leave us alone. So we are known to resist. We've had it where um, uh, under Gary, we've seen that. We've seen it under Maurice Bishop, all right? We've seen resistance all along the way. We've exported it. Uriah Buzz Butler in Trinidad is a Grenadian, and he was one of the most respected, feared, and celebrated African on this planet. And if you don't know who, Raya, um, who Butler was, look him up. A.N.R. Robinson, look them up. These are Grenadian people. Um, and, um, Malcolm X, whose mother was from Ma Malcolm Grenada. Malcolm X, his mother, uh, ma mother's from Ladig and so on. Mm -hmm. we, Stokely Carmichael. Stokely Carmichael's family, all right? Mm -hmm. So we, we, what I'm saying to you is that we are known to push the envelope. So why are we looking at Grenadians and saying that, well, this little island and they, yeah, blah, 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 blah. You don't know nothing. You have to, re you have to start reading and, and start really understanding. Um, we might take things quiet for a little while, but eventually, and this is, no, I will take you into the politics a little bit, right? I know you don't want to go there, but I'm going to take you there for a little bit. Our current leadership in our beautiful island seems to be, and I have to use that language, seems to be taking Grenadians for granted and think they can push stuff Grenadians throat. You see what happened recently with the dog and the, that couple? Yes, please. Okay. While I'm not down the line of the, um, necessarily on the white, uh, black version of it, but that is Grenadians telling you that you cannot come into my country and do as you please. White, pink, yellow, Irish, dotish, idiot, whatever you call yourself. Because we're going to push back. Okay? And that couple, they are very lucky. Because back in the day, there was a thing that, um, that young people don't know about called, we don't have a problem going sky red on you. Sky red. Correct. Okay? The, most of the younger generations don't know what sky mm -hmm. red is. We don't have a problem coming out there with a, everybody Yet. have That's a bull pistol in their hand. Yet. But I'm just saying. So, so, so that they might, they might, and, and it's unfortunate, and I have to say this now, I'm disappointed, right, inside of all of what has been happening recently, that the leadership of the country is quiet. On, your citizens are under attack. There's a recent video with another white male deciding to challenge three to four to five black men with my accent in Grenada, and he's still alive today. Joe, Uncle Gary in his day, and this is one of the, I mean, this is one of the times I never ever thought I would ever live to say that Uncle Gary, that my name, I mean, will be putting Uncle Gary name in a same sentence, right? Oh, but that, that, that guy was ahead of his time in his thinking of his country. And you, you come from wherever you come from, whatever money you have, whatever investments that you promise or that you're going to do, he's not accepting you and your bad behavior. As soon as you step out of line, the next flight is at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Make sure that you don't miss the flight. Please don't miss that, miss that flight. That was Uncle Gary's time. And, and I'm looking at our leadership today. Like, okay, so we have a cricket stadium today, right? We have an athletic stadium today, yes? Right? We, we have... Um, we have um, we have um, um, whatever the other uh, what are the installations that whatever the installations are, and which Grenadian has benefited from that? Which Grenadian ha uh, has learned how to build a stadium from building of those stadiums in our country? Correct. Our leadership is not there, and and I'm saying to my leadership, okay, and people might take it well, I'm anti this or no. I'm saying to you, look in the mirror, 
this is your country. Stop allowing the foreigners to come. At, I mean, one um, one um, colonial master replaced to by another, you're still under colonialism, regardless if it's a Chinese um, colonial master or a British colonial master. You are still, and now even the British are saying to 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 their leaders that that what they did back then is wrong, and now they they're talking reparation. Why are we trying to encourage and trying to dig ourselves in under the Chinese? What kind of craziness is that? Imagine, okay, we say the country is locked down, right? Beautiful Grenada, the country is locked down. Everybody stay home, nobody go to work. How come the Chinese are allowed to go to work? The Chinese are working while the Grenadians are home, uh, locked up in the house. What kind of equity is that? Okay? And these are the things that we have to be very careful how we allow people to step on us. And, and, and not accept that anyhow. So do you think mm -hmm. that would be a hindrance of you returning to Grenada mm -mm, mm -mm. eventually? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, Grenada no, no, no. is home. No, no, Grenada, Grenada is always home. And even if I'm not living in Grenada, physically living in Grenada, I'm still in Grenada. Because I'm, not, I'm like, for instance, the stabbing that took place in Guava last night. You heard about that? Yes, please. Okay. Um, sometimes, a lot of times, I'm calling my sister and my cousin and, and family in Grenada, and I'm, I'm giving them news of items and incidents that took place on the island and they're on the island. So I'm, I'm I, no, my finger is in that pulse. I had a, I had a guy attack me one time and say, well, I don't know what going on, I okay. And I say, yo, okay, okay, good for you. And so after that challenge, I say, well, I'm had, I had to be a lot more in tune, uh, in tune and astute of the happenings in my country. I, so I, I plug into several channels and several sources and so that when I get information, it's solid information. Like right now, um, one of the pieces that I have is that our Prime Minister is relatively not very well. And that's one of the things that I'm learning um, um, health-wise. Uh, how bad, I don't know, but um, uh, that's what I'm understanding and from reliable sources. Some, some reliable sources that he's not doing too, too well and need help. So, I mean, if somebody who's watching this know, for sure, for sure, call me and uh, let me know. I mean, I'm, I'm always, I, I have a lot of resources. I have a lot of resources of a lot of people who, that if I don't know, I know somebody who does and I'm able to offer some kind of assistance. Okay. There's one other group I want to mention that I'm trying to work towards getting them home. They were home twice last year, they were home again and they were there in 2016 as heroes, health, health and relief Health and Educational Relief Organization. Health and Educational Relief Organization. Hero. Hero. It's a group of medical professionals, right? And they go all, all, all over the Caribbean and providing health outreach services. Yes. Free. I'll put their information on the page as well. Free. Mm -hmm. Important to say free. Yes. They, um, they, mostly, they, mo they mostly go to Diana. But they were in Grenada and uh, did that uh, seven fistula implant surgeries. 2016, they went back again last year, 2019. What kind of surgery do they do? Implant, f um, fistula implants. Yes. For um, people who are doing dialysis. Yes. So to put in the, the shunts. Yeah. So that way you could easily access the vein to, yes. to do the transfer and what have you. Um, trying to get them to come in with a bigger, with a full entourage of services that they provide, as well as another, there's another one called OID, Organization for International um, um, Development. Um, that now is primarily Jamaicans, but they have volunteers from all over. And they, um, Dr. Street, who is the head of this, he's a dentist. So as to give, uh, come in again to Grenada and do some free dental services, services mm -hmm. to our nationals. Super subs. That's, that's, that's what I do. Thank you, Mr. Alex. Help whenever I could help. What's Mr. Sorry, sorry, Mr. John Crow. Jesus. So, and Mr. So this is what... Grenadians abroad are doing. You're well, I won't example. say this is what I'm. This is what John Crow is doing. Yes, I can't speak for everyone. Yes, this is what John, there are groups like um, Valley Youth. Yes. Uh, is a group that they do a lot of work as well. There are several. There are several organizations. I mean, there's a friend of mine, Cheryl, is in Atlanta, and um, they have a Grenada organization in Atlanta doing work. Mm -hmm. There's another one in Montreal where they, um, um, Gemma Baines and people like that, where they're doing a lot of work. There is another group in Toronto. There, there, there are Grenadians across North America, you know, and England, you know, 
who are doing a lot of work on behalf of Grenada. Yeah. You know, unfortunately, um, we we do not do justice in terms of the publicity of this kind of work that people do. Yeah. But not everybody look and know how to do the publicity um, piece, you know, as, as, as well as I do. So. Yes, well, that's why Beautiful Grenada thought, let's get, because we have a lot of our fans, actually most of our fans are from either Europe or North America. And they're always commenting on our, our post because they're away from home and we kind of bring Grenada to, to them. them wherever they are. Right. And the idea of Grenadians abroad is to inform us Grenada, Grenadians in Grenada and Grenadians in North, and, North America and Europe that Grenadians are working. Maybe not as much as we should be, right. but we are working, we are contributing to our country and um, to get the word out about your organization. Mm -hmm. So now Grenadians have a, a way to click, they'll be able to click on the webpage and go to your charity as well as the other charities that you mentioned. We're mm -hmm. going to make it available and get the word out okay. because Good. it's getting the word out that that is basically hindering a lot of donations True that. so i'm glad you're here with us today i will make sure that everyone knows about your charity it'll be, it'll, you know what would be really nice those students who or those people and i had to emphasize people because for some reason Grenada, we have replaced people with persons those people who studied in Grenada and, and, and got their education uh, and qualification in, at SGU, that if they would take advantage of something like this and you know put the money, know that they are making money, so to speak, and, and give us back, give something back to us, it would be so nice. Those you know former students and so on, yes. to really and truly uh, put us, put us, call it, put us on the map. Um, Give back to the and, alma maters and, 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 and yes, Grenada. And, and to Grenada, because a lot of them came to Grenada for the education and they got an education beyond what they expected. Yes. Because the beauty alone um, of the place, you know, and then they get a lot of preferential treatment. And I hate <laughs> if you're looking for preferential treatment, go to school in Grenada. <laughs> they, they open, they put on the red carpet for you, always. Um, which is which is not a bad thing. I'm not saying you know, you know some people get upset with that, but hey, listen, they, they, they somebody gave me the percentage of what their uh, presence means to Grenada's economy, and it's, it's quite high. Yeah. It's in the double digits. Yes. So, which, which is remarkable, um, and we could do, we could use it. We definitely could use it. So that former students, I'm call, I'm appealing to former students as well as to Grenadians. To let's let's keep the the shine the hill the, the star on the hill yes. shining bright yeah yes you thank know? you and, and and that's a beautiful thing that's a yeah beautiful thing. and no more sky red well no sky red is you always have to be prepared for sky red because people people tend to forget and, and they step out of line and you gotta you know let, let them know that no this is not where you come into this is not do, what we do in Grenada no we don't know you cannot come in there and to step on us and. And, and treat us any which way that you feel like, uh, and then we're supposed to accept it. Yes. We might be poor, but we ain't stupid. Mm -hmm. And we don't tolerate nonsense. Correct. And we have a history of us not tolerating nonsense. Yes. Period. Yes. Regardless of who you are. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Have a good day. I didn't mean to be so passionate. That's okay. I get, I get, I get, I get it. <laughs> I get it. And that's why you're able to contribute the way you do to Grenada. Absolutely. I thank you. Please. Come talk to us again anytime sometime you, in the future. Anytime you're ready, just call me. Uh, okay. I will stand on ceremony. And Thank you, John Crow. You're welcome. Okay. And we can find you on Facebook too? Yeah, you can find me on Facebook. I'm, I'm, I'm always making trouble on Facebook. I'm a, I'm a keyboard badger. <laughs> Thank you, sir. The camera, camera lopsided.